Hi, good morning, everyone. It's good to see so many familiar names joining today's live. It's a very special day for us and for a lot of you. <clears throat> I see a lot of our brands who work very closely with us joining us in today. And thanks for all the questions that you all posted on earlier. I have all those questions today that I want to answer. But anyway, I hope all of you are having a great day and I hope you are doing good, living life to the fullest because we have one life, finite time. That's a reminder every single day that we should live abundantly, forgive easily, make the most out of life even though sometimes we have struggles, difficulty, anger, negative emotions. We've got to rise above that because everyone has a problem. Everyone, from the billionaires in the world to anyone, stress is real, problems are real. Relationships have problems, families have problems. You may have a problem with yourself, with your friends. All this is existent. When we try to resist it, we have more problems in life. But the whole point is, how do we get extraordinary with the one life that we have? How do we move from feeling stuck to making our lives one of wonder, one of joy? Because like I said, we have one life and finite time. Well, anyway, today is a special day for us. It's our first year anniversary of UK Lifestyle. We started this page and we started this company back in the lockdown because people were confused with what kind of food should we buy. You go onto an e-commerce platform today and you're confused because the algorithms give you products which are promoted, deeply discounted products. And sometimes you order these products and then you flip them over and you find out it's not what you really wanted. There are a lot of claims made in the Indian market today, which is highly regulated, but not really regulated the right way. When I say that, people have found loopholes into providing cheap food and disastrous food to human health. So we have thousands of patients around the country at any given point. And when we work with their health, when we work with people who have cancer, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, Alzheimer's, obesity, one of the important mechanisms that we use to fix them is food. So if food is gonna be part of your medicine. You need quality food. If you are paying money for organic food, is it really organic? Are you paying people who have a fake certificate? Are you paying companies who make claims, but those claims are not even real? That's when we decided, my team of doctors, my team of nutritionists, our research scientists decided to get together and we said, what if we create a platform where every brand and every product that we put on that platform is verified according to, one is of course the FSSAI, the actual organic certification companies, and the philosophy of good health. Because as you and I know, there are 50 or more different types and disguises for sugar. Someone may write my product is sugar-free, but it's loaded with an artificial sugar which is doing a lot more damage to you. Sometimes it's better to have regular sugar than most of the artificial sugars. Some of us, when we turn over labels of food products, you have an, a list of ingredients and chemicals that you can't even understand. If you can't understand these chemicals, how are you putting it inside of your body or onto your skin and face? Skincare is a huge industry. Turn over any skincare product and tell me if you can understand most of the ingredients. Most of them sound like chemicals. We need to understand while some of these chemicals are approved, many of them come with approvals that in small quantities, they don't tell you what happens if it's in large quantities. We know around the world today that cosmetics, we absorb it through our skin. Every shampoo that you use, every soap that you use, every cream that you use, you are absorbing it and all of the ingredients into your system. A lot of xenoestrogens and all of these fragrances and all of these cosmetics are getting into your system, disrupting your hormones. One, which, what is one of the most common lifestyle diseases that we have today? PCOS, endometriosis, ovarian problems, infertility, bladder problems, cysts and fibroids, ER positive breast cancers. When it comes to males, prostate cancers, belly fat. No matter what you do, you can't lose that belly fat. Low testosterone, libido issues, hair loss problems. Most of these problems are caused because of hormonal disruption in the human body, caused a lot by the xenoestrogens found in plastic bottles of water that we consume, cosmetics, foods, pollution in the air. So that is why when we look at health, we look at it as an investment, not as a cost. So the whole point of building this one year ago was what if we put all of these brands that are doing fantastic work in one place? 
So if there are 10 brands that are doing 10 great coconut oils, all of them should be in one place. And now because they're verified on their licenses, on their authenticity, on the quality of their products, on everything, by a team of nutritionists, research scientists, and professionals, now you decide which coconut oil you want to buy. Now you, you decide which skincare brand you want to, die, you want to buy. There's a huge difference between endorsements. Endorsements is when you're paid a lot of money to endorse one particular product and a brand. Okay, it may be a great product, but there are also other great products. How we want it to be different from endorsements. We want it to curate and collaborate with brands, which means there can be 10 great brands doing skincare. All of them should be on the platform. And now the consumer gets to choose which one they want because the quality of all of them are great. Now you can decide which brand you want to buy. And that's exactly what we, that's, that's exactly why we created this. In a year, we have over 10,000 people who are registered users on our platform. Repeat buyers, and of course, we want to put a lot more brands on a lot more products, but because our process is a little bit stringent, and just because people cannot upload their products on our product, you know, on our platform, it goes through a whole approval process. What I also want to call out is a number of brands that are on this call right now. When they came to us, we rejected them because of certain changes that they had to make. A lot of these brands went back and they said, look, we want to put an honest product out. They made the changes and they came back to us and today they're doing very well on our platform. <clears throat> so the whole idea of creating this platform is people come to us. We also give them advice on why we can't put your product up. And if you can change this, it's going to be good for you and your consumers and the world. So a lot of brands make the changes and we get them back on the platform and a lot of don't. So we don't keep them on our platform. So the beauty is we're trying to create an ecosystem, a one point destination where you come and everything on that platform is verified and you can choose which brand you want because it's all approved. So that's how we've been working for the last one year. We've got so much of feedback from our consumers, so much of love and blessings from our consumers. And we have a whole list of questions, which I'm going to take up one by one right now. So we had a question on Luke. You have a Sattu powder. You've been a promoter of Sattu in the country for the longest time. Well, yes, Sattu is India's powerful protein. I didn't invent it. I learned it from Calcutta. I learned it from people in Calcutta who would push these massive carts and have one glass of sattu and work for four hours. Then we took that, we studied it, we broke it down nutritionally and we found that, wow, this exists in India as a poor man's food, but as a powerful protein. And today, some of our richest clients around the world consume sattu every single day. There is so much that we can learn from Indian culture. Mm -hmm. So a question that we got, Luke, you have a particular sattu. How different is it from other sattus? There is no difference. It's just that every brand that we choose to work with and that is on our platform is authentic, has ethics, is sourcing it the right way. Their certifications are real because you and I both know in our country, you can fake certifications. You can bribe, you can get false certificates. A lot of people selling organic food do not have real certificates. They just slap on organic and who's, who's auditing it? Who's running the audits for this? So everyone gets away with loopholes in the law in our country and that's one reason we set up this entire concept because no one can get through the loopholes. And if we do ever find someone who's got through the loopholes and has fooled our system, we would blacklist them and we would even take legal action against them because we're here to correct the system. We are here to correct the system because if you are spending money you have the right to authentic and honest food. And in our process, we found a lot of people who have tried to fool us and come up with certifications and we've given them all warnings that if this happens the next time, we don't just blacklist you, we take legal action and we will bring it to the awareness of the public as well about what you're doing because that's the only way you can correct a system. So our Sattu is the same. It's just that we, have, we are working with a brand that is doing it the right way, top quality. Anyone who consumes the products on our platform, the benchmark is, can my cancer patients also consume it? That is the benchmark. Will I feed it to my daughter, to my family, to my parents? That is the benchmark of quality that me and our team will follow. If we are not gonna feed it to our families or our loved ones, there is no way we are gonna suggest it or curate it or collaborate with it. That is our benchmark. And then of course we rope in FSSAI, all the certifications. If you know, just a fun fact, a lot of skincare products in our country do not have the complete certification required to sell. A lot of them. How do we know that? Because we rejected hundreds of them. 
And a lot of them don't want to get the right certification because it's expensive. I understand that point, but you still need to be certified. And that's why you feel you find very few brands of skincare on our platform. We're growing, we're getting more and more because people are realizing that we will not list them unless they are honest with their certifications and they have all the certifications as per the government mandate, FSSAI, food safety regulation and everything in place. So you're gonna be part of an evolving change in our country because we believe that for overall health, while we do yoga, we do training, we do all of that stuff, there are three things that every consumer and human being needs for great health. Clean air, clean food, and clean water. Without this, human health is impossible. Without this, disease will constantly increase more and more. So yes, we have a Satu brand and there are many on our platform. Choose which one suits you. Okay, what is the process of verification? We already took you through that. So even if someone claims organic, we are going into the depth of their certification. Like I said, a lot of people use fake certification in our country. And we are very, very careful to work with people and verify it at every single level. So we are a platform of ethical foods. When I say ethical, what do I mean? Okay, we're trying to keep the middleman out. I personally want organic food and healthy food to become cheaper in our country. How can we do it? Let me explain to you when I spoke to the farmers and vendors, like why is your food so expensive? Here's the answer from them. Look, we don't have a lot of people buying it. When our demand goes up, we grow more. We can produce more and that's how costs come down. Instead of producing 500 at a particular cost, if I can produce 5,000, my cost comes down and we can reduce the cost of the product. So all of us, if we want organic food or we want ethical food to be cheaper eventually, we got to consume it more. We got to help vendors. We have to help farm farmers by consuming. But if we're supporting the middleman all the time, guess what? Who's making the money? The middleman, not the vendors, not the farmers. It is very important for us to understand that if we want to grow and evolve a new ecosystem, we got to be part of it. We got to support it. We can't sit back and expect organic food to become cheaper if we're not supporting it continuously. So three days in a week, I order organic, and then I get lazy and I just start buying the normal local produce, which is not organic. I break the chain. The farmers don't get enough to grow. They don't have the purpose to grow more and more. So that's how the entire system works. And of course, another reason of our platform, if I've got, for example, 10 coconut oils, okay, each selling at 500 rupees, fine. But if I have one coconut oil selling at 500 rupees and one selling at 2,000, okay, people are obviously gonna choose the one at 500 because it's still approved by our team. It's still great quality. So this is gonna force vendors to bring a certain level and fairness in market price and market value. And that is why we don't endorse one product. We can have 10 different great brands on our platform. Now you as a consumer decide what you wanna buy. Another part of keeping our platform honest is every vendor when they sign up with us, if a consumer has a question, you can ask it to the vendor and the vendor owes you an answer. If the vendor cannot answer you or does not answer you, they will not be on our platform because we want to create transparency and honesty. I may not always have the questions for all of your products, but that's why we want to remove us and put you in direct contact with the vendor, with the farmer. Ask all the questions you want because you deserve honesty if you are spending money on a particular product. That's how clean we want to keep the system. I also had another product about more cosmetic products. Like I said, we're very careful about this. Right now, we have many cosmetic products. We've recently collaborated with Juicy Chemistry because they're doing great, authentic work. In fact, for the longest time, our cancer patients around India and even the Middle East have ordered Juicy Chemistry products because of completely organic, no chemicals and all of that stuff. There are other brands as well and more brands approaching us. As they go through the verification process, you will see more cosmetic brands coming up on our products. How are our products different from other brands? Like I said, there are many good products in the market, but our products, they have to be honest with certification and fit within the philosophy of health. So even though the FDA may say maltodextrin is okay and the FSSAI may also say it's okay, with us, it's not okay if the quantity is too much. Because like everything is an exception, but too much of it creates gut problems. So a lot of products say that, look, but the FSSAI has approved us, but you aren't. Because it doesn't fall within the philosophy of the health that we are trying to promote in our country. Very soon you'll see the UK lifestyle ecosystem move from ethical foods and verified foods to also foods which are indulgence foods. 
because what's wrong with indulgence as long as it's a healthy way? So you're gonna see a lot happening. We continue to request your support, your love, your blessings, support the farmer, support the vendor, support the platform. It's only gonna grow as much as you support us. I have one more question. Why are the products so expensive? I'll tell you why. We don't believe it's expensive. We believe that the good things in life, anything quality will be expensive. It's as simple as that. And we also believe that health is not a cost. Health is an investment. What you invest in today is preventive health. If you invest in the wrong oils, you are going to pay heavy medical bills when it comes to your cardiovascular problems. If you eat the wrong cheap ingredients, you are going to get diabetes and then your bills are going to be higher. Health is an investment. It is not a cost. So of course, like I said, the more you support vendors and farmers doing ethical food, the more they are going to drop their prices at some particular point. But it's a perception change. I may want to spend X amount on my weekend on cheap food and alcohol and stuff, or I may say, I want to spend that money on my health. Everyone has a choice. It is your perception. It is absolute your perception. So yes, some, of the, some products are really expensive. I find them expensive too, but it's a choice I make because I put health first and everything else second. So it's completely up to us. Yes, I have another question on A2 PO ghee. It is a nutritional supplement and is also very expensive. I asked this question to our farmers directly. Why is it so expensive? Can you reduce the price? And they told us the actual process of what it takes to make PO A2 ghee and how much cream you need to make it. And that just made me realize that all the other ghee in the market, which is hydrogenated, is made ultra processed. And that is why that PO ghee will cause cardiovascular problems. But the pure one, there's a lot of effort and the quantities that are required are huge. And that's why the product gets, gets expensive. And pure ghee is a power food. It's a super food that we as Indians already know for years and years. So before I end this, if any of you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions. I'll be happy to answer it. But once again, thank you so much for the support that we have. Get your friends on board to the UK Lifestyle page because you know our ecosystem is not gonna just be products. You are gonna find educational videos, you are gonna find common lifestyle diseases, solutions to it, you're gonna find challenges, you're gonna find programs, you're gonna find so many things that can help you, not just food, because like the today, there's no one food in the world that can solve your problem. It is lifestyle. The food you eat, how you eat it, when you eat it, your quality sleep, the kind of exercise you do, your emotional wellness, the UK platform is trying to tie all of these things together and give it to you, not just the product. When you buy a product, you are also buying an ecosystem that can change your lifestyle and change your health. So thank you everyone for your time. Have a great day and thank you once again for being part of our ecosystem and part of the initiative that we are trying to make across the country to change the authenticity of the food chain. Have a great day everyone.